Tuesday, June 18. Taco Tuesday on price picks, which I like to call it Bankroll Builder Day if the tacos do hit. Recap of yesterday, we hit our two-man discount with Jalen Brown, the two-man I posted on Twitter and Instagram that hit for a double up. We also hit on that five-man. Unfortunately, Collier didn't come through with the rebounds, but we ended up going four or five for a double up. We'll take it. Today, we got first taco's been released, and if we got an NHL taco, it is Sergey's goalie saves. 25.5 discounted down to 19.5. Not too fond of it in this series. He's only gotten over twice of those four. Obviously, the Oilers are avoiding elimination, so I think the shots will be there. Uh, so we'll be taking the discount. Obviously, we take every discount. And I'm going to be pairing it with my, one of my favorite gobbies for today, and that is a pitcher strikeout gobby. And that will be Tanner Hook which I posted on Twitter and Instagram already. And I'm going to be taking his Gobby line, which is at 3.5. I do like his original line at 5. I will be taking that on a separate slip. Um, but for this taco, we'll be taking 25 for 50 for a double up. And that is my pair for the first taco. Recommend you pair your favorite gobby to the second and third tacos, but let's head on over to this five man I built for MLB First one I like is Aaron Ola. He might be my anchor of the day Unfortunately daily grind fantasy doesn't agree with me. Uh, they do have him at a 51% hit rate to go under on his props Going against the Padres. He's never missed his mark against the Padres. He's always had five strikeouts or more uh, So you can take his pitcher strikeouts uh, or his pitcher fantasy score for this one. I'm going to be taking his pitcher fantasy score just for the fact that I think he is going to get the win uh, Going against Michael King. So it should be competitive uh, But I think Nola edges him out uh, Michael King struggle. I think he allowed six earned runs against the Phillies last time out uh, But Michael King has been pitching well as you can see his past five. It's pretty much all green uh, But I think Aaron Nola is gonna bounce back which he had a bad start. Uh, I think he bounces back and gets the win against the Padres. So you can take his pitcher strikeouts at five or his fantasy. Second one I'll be taking is Tanner Hook, which obviously I used as Gobby. I am fond of his strikeouts at five. Or his pitcher fantasy score. For this one, we're going to be taking his pitcher fantasy score. That way we don't have too much exposure on his strikeouts. Going against Chris Bassett, I think Bassett's going to get shelled by the Red Sox today. So... Daily Grand Fantasy has Chris Bass's fantasy score under at 56% rate. So you might want to take that. So that's a big reason why I'll be taking his pitcher fantasy score. He'll get the win, which helps his pitcher fantasy score. Or you can take his pitcher strikeouts. Next one I'm taking is Jake Irvin. He's been pitching great the last two months. I took his pitcher strikeouts on that promo for underdog. Uh, but for this slip here, we'll be taking his pitcher fantasy score. I like his pitcher strikeout. They do have him projected to get five against the D-backs. But I'm going to be taking his pitcher fantasy score. Uh, going against Slade, a rookie for the Diamondbacks. So I think Jake Irvin has a good shot at winning this game. He'll definitely have a quality start. So I'll be taking his pitcher fantasy score. Next up will be a pair of pitcher strikeouts. And they are going against each other. I got Bryce Miller and Tristan McKenzie. Both of them over pitcher strikeouts. Daily Grind Fantasy likes the pitcher combo prop between them two, which is at 9. I do have them projected to get 10, so at 54, 54.8% hit rate. Daily Grind Fantasy has Bryce Miller and Tristan McKenzie combo prop to go over. So you may want to look into that as well. Uh, but I like the original lines, which is at 4. I do have Bryce Miller going over 5 and McKenzie winning 6 for this one. Mariners do strike out a lot. Uh, so I do have that on a separate slip. I do have the combo on a separate slip as well. Let's head on over to WNBA where I got three good props. First one I'll be taking is Hamby. And I'm going to be taking her points and rebounds. She is at, obviously you see her rebounds is already a popular play. I'm going to be taking her points and rebounds at 26.5. I do have a projector to get 10 rebounds, but this might push. Uh, she's been scoring nearly 20 points a game. So her points and rebounds, I do like that the most. 
Next one is Laney, and unfortunately this one was my play of the day. I was going to take this on my latter day challenge. I might take it still, just for the fact that we do have push equity. But Nigel Laney was at 3.5 early this morning. It did get bumped to 4. I do have her getting 5 against the Phoenix. Uh, I still like it. Be taking the over on that. Third one is Sabrina. And unfortunately I wanted to take her rebounds and assists, but they did take it off the board. It had excellent value. Uh, but I'm going to be taking her points and assists at 23.5. If her rebounds and assists pops up and it's at 11 or less, take the over. I think she's going to have a massive game against Phoenix. She usually has big games against Phoenix, especially in the assist department. She is at 6. As you can see, it's already a popular play, but I think this might push. Another one I like for WNBA is John Quill Jones. She's been red hot the past three games. You can see her points is a popular play. I personally like her points and assists. She can get this on, on points alone. She is at 18.5. You can see her past three, 35, 32, 27. That's mostly on points. Uh, but there it is. Got plenty of props for WNBA and MLB. NBA is obviously over, so we're going to have to focus on MOB and WNBA, which is fine. Those two are my strong suits as well. Mix and match. Pick your favorite. Please like, subscribe, and comment. Appreciate the support. See you guys in the next one.